uh, Molly Ludlow, uh, 159.72. Talking about the race. Was that really? Yeah. The winner. 159.9. No, 159.93, yeah. Oh, man. That's Still a lot. some, too. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it was perfect conditions. We went out a little slower than uh, I was expecting, but it's really good for my strength to kind of like evenly split kind of stuff right now. So I'm happy with it. My first sub two of the season, I feel really strong moving into trials. So Talk about that last hundred. I felt really good. Um, I have been struggling my last 100 meters this whole season, really, kind of like getting like robot-ish looking, and I really felt great the last 100 meters. It was probably off of the slow pace, makes you feel a little bit better, but um, yeah, I mean, really happy with where I'm at right now. What is this thing dipping under two right in front of the trials, the trials a couple weeks away? Yeah, in every year, you know, kind of for my confidence and stuff, I like to dip under two. Last year I did as well. Um, would have been like last weekend last year so I'm right where I need to be right where I usually am at um and every year you know it's, it's no different than any other year I'm going to go to USA's and try to get top three just like I do every year a lot of times I get fourth place but you know this time I'm gonna obviously do the same thing I get really sharp the next three weeks and get be able to roll home uh, in a couple weeks. So. How, how motivating is that after finishing fourth to, to really, you know, get it this year? Yeah, um, it's happened twice. I've missed two teams by a total of like 0.3 seconds between the two of them. So, um, yeah, it was a little traumatizing, but I have become such a better, stronger person because of it and um, so motivated going in. That's why... You know, I've had the the bounce to come back, and I've come back from so many injuries, dealing with my knees, and um, it's all kind of pushing me towards the Olympic trials. So I expect nothing for myself but to get top three, just like the rest of the girls right now are are all trying to get after it. So um, yeah, I'm happy with today. I'm excited for the three weeks, stay healthy, and get some sleep, rest up, and get ready for those those three rounds, those three brutal rounds. <laughs> Are you surprised no one in the U.S. has really separated themselves in this event yet? Because like, you and uh, Ajay tonight were like the second or third tier, so tier is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I am a little bit surprised, but, you know, we're all going through this process of not just physically training, but it's really mentally stressful. I mean, this year is, it's a very stressful time, and so you have to be very careful with your training, and sometimes you want to overtrain and that just will bite you in the ass at trial so it's it's i think every one of us is kind of feeling that um and you know in the back of our minds we're thinking we got to get through three rounds so it's not really who can go out and run 157 156 right now or it's it's who can get through those three rounds and feel fresh towards the end so um, i've been working on my strength a lot which obviously makes the sharpening up come on a little bit later in the season so to get sub two running 59 something and then coming back and run 60 says a lot about where I'm at in terms of my strength so getting through the rounds has never been a problem for me because I do train like a 1500 runner and I run a lot of miles and a lot of um, over distances so I think that's part of the reason why as well. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.